I am the motographer. In 2019, I embarked on the journey of a lifetime on the fantastic Indian-made Bajaj Dominar 400s, christened as the XBB Dominar Creation Odyssey. The road trip went from New Delhi, Nepal, Bhutan, Myanmar, Thailand, Laos, Vietnam, Cambodia, Malaysia, and finally to the tip of Singapore and beyond to Sri Lanka. Here we go. This was our last day in this beautiful country, Vietnam, and we will be riding from Ho Chi Minh City to Nom Phen in Cambodia, which is country number eight on this road trip. So this is the Baitax Financial Tower. It was the tallest building in Vietnam until 2010 with 68 floors, and uh, it was overtaken by another building here in Ho Chi Minh City, which is 72, uh, which has got 72 floors. But this is one impressive building right here. I really have to turn my head to see it. All right, let's go. So today is Saturday. And that's why we are not facing the full brunt of uh, Ho Chi Minh traffic. Ho Chi Minh can be uh, compared with Mumbai because this is a financial hub of uh, Vietnam. So what an amazing place! And I just don't understand why India cannot have these kind of things. Uh, this is a river front here, the uh, Saigon River, and this is supposed to be a hotel and a restaurant. Oh. Wow, I am reading that name after a very long time. Who wants some traffic? You shall find here in Vietnam. Oh yes, this is nice. This is really nice. Here in uh, Vietnam, especially in bigger cities like Ho Chi Minh, Hanoi, it's no different than riding a two-wheeler in India. 
you can literally poke your nose anywhere you want to you know go in any direction ride the way you want ride on footpath ride on sidewalks do whatever you want to as long as you don't hit anyone you are okay guys our last day in vietnam and uh, you know we have literally gone from the top to the bottom here yeah, we started in hanoi after we crossed over from lao and uh, right now we are standing in ho chi minh city but i like its alternate name better saigon it's like very saigon is like oriental kind of a uh, exotic kind of a name but uh, yes uh, for many people it is still saigon as we have come to found find and a lot of shops are named either two things saigon or nguyen n g u y e n which is the most popular name last name i think or first name in vietnam there there every third person is a nguyen n g u y e n so that is also what we discovered here and uh, what was the biggest draw for you in vietnam uh, manan chaturvedi well uh, the biggest draw for me was the paradigm shift the thought that i used to have and i think for that matter a lot of other people uh, out there who are not aware about vietnam might be thinking that okay vietnam is like this because all they know or they might know is the war that they have been into uh, with the us for a long time but this is completely different it is very well developed the journey was great it is a it is a beautiful country from north to south we've been amazed by every city that we have entered mm. whether it is a small town or it's a big big city like this uh, do we have i mean we have something like this in uh, mumbai you know like but still this whole place especially the riverfront yeah. in all the cities it is mind blowing like it, the way they have developed it the lighting the cleanliness you know i mean the reason why i'm talking all this is that why cannot india be like this we have no idea all the time we cannot have this excuse that there are so many cultures so many languages so, so many, many people yeah. you know i mean we, we we cannot have that excuse so but anyway india is our country we love it and vietnam has been uh, very kind an to us an eye opener literally i mean there are buildings with helipads on it <laughs> anyway so this is last day we are entering into cambodia today and uh, directly we will be going to nom phen which is the capital of cambodia and the eighth country on this uh, ride all right so see you on the other side guys right is vietnam's tallest building 72 floors and uh, yeah pretty amazing look at that to make extra space for our luggage on this 90 day 15000 kilometers ride we had to fit a carrier for the top box on our dominas during the great asian odyssey and taking this feedback from our ride bajaj has now fitted the new domina 400 here with a carrier to accommodate a top box or a tail bag during our long rides which is such a practical upgrade and it also has a back stopper for your pillion's added comfort you can check out the new dominas at your nearest bajaj dealership but for now let's get back to the odyssey doesn't this look like a race that mark markers ahead of me on the honda and on the right there is a bayman admi bayman okay and oh who is this yes i take the inside 
of the apex overtaking three riders in one go so safety car has been called because the race was getting too fast and they said that please slow down a little bit because our cameras cannot follow you this lovely chaos is exhilarating let me put it that way this cannot get more narrower than this <laughs> oh right okay let me cross over gentlemen so the dominar here is like a super bike if everyone had a dominar here things will be a lot different they don't allow bikes that freely over 150 cc i can tell you for that i will look at how the dominar is accelerating in front of these bikes it's it's just there is no comparison can you carry an entire water tank like this yes vietnam can am i sick and tired of this traffic maybe but the roads are not that bad and uh, sick and tired yes imagine you have to keep following and looking at this for a very long time you will be sick and tired of this of looking at this just like in india here you can see farmers selling vegetables on the cart by the side of the road all right so it's time to say goodbye to vietnam and uh, in front of me is the cambodia border it was wonderful it was wonderful riding vietnam this is the first country actually i'm feeling sad that um, you know i have to leave because i think we spend the most of our time here in Vietnam as well. That is one more thing. And uh, I have a feeling that Cambodia will not be that good in terms of the roads, the infrastructure and other things. So let's see what happens. Well, our guide is supposed to be somewhere here. And uh, this is the emigration side of Vietnam. We have to go out of here and into Cambodia. So we're going to call up our escort, which is mandatory.